I just discovered a horrifying fact, and I don't know what to do about it. I just dropped the kids off at school, and the whole way here, the kids were just singing Christmas songs. Because, you know, it's October, and Halloween is almost here, so it's time for Christmas. I guess somehow, I don't know how this works, but my six-year-old is involved in some sort of, like, Christmas cult. Whereby, for weeks, he's been planning at recess tomorrow just this, like, massive Christmas show that he is apparently leading. And by the way, it's not just, like, a free-for-all. In order to view this Christmas pageant, you have to arrive at the playground with a rock. The rock is your, I want to watch this. What are going to do with all of the rocks from kids that presumably are like, oh, here's a rock, can I watch now? And he just ends up with a whole bunch of rocks. I don't know the answer to that. I have a feeling a lot of them are going to end up in my house. Obviously, most parents would shut this down because, one, I don't want that many rocks. Two, this feels like the beginning of a 60 Minutes episode. And three, rinse and repeat on the first two. But because I'm just a chaos queen, I thought, I'm going to lean into this. It's like, well, we have a few minutes before we get to school. This seems like a great opportunity, bud, to just practice. So go ahead. Let me hear what you got. He starts singing at full volume. Jingle Bells. And unsurprisingly, as an initial matter, he thinks it's Jingle Balls, Jingle Balls, which is its own issue. But then he gets the rest of the chorus, which, as you know, is supposed to be uh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. He sings it, and I'm like, pause. <laughs> <laughs> says, old McFarmer loves to ride on just one more rooster slide. Jingle balls, jingle balls. Old McFarmer loves to ride on just one more rooster slide. Do I tell him? Because my gut says no. He's already inside, by the way, so let's light the scandal. 